Um, and here, of course, this is if you wanted to uh, map um, .html to lasso or something as well, you'd add another line. Uh, this slide looks like a duplicate. So when you um, when you put all that together, uh, this is basically what you see. It's actually commented in the in the actual file, but it's uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not very hairy uh, compared to uh, the way Apache configuration files generally look. Uh, so, but yeah, if you just look at the uh, configuration file in your own installation, you'll see. Uh, comments describing each of the lines, and it's it's pretty easy to go in there and and make some tweaks. Uh, so so what I want to talk about now, like that that's basically the default configuration. You don't need to really touch any of that. If you just want to have a server, uh, like if you have your machine, you want to be able to just run last and I, you can simply use the installer, uh, use the, and it'll put this file in the right place. But a lot of us, of course, want to be able to run Lasso 8.5 and Lasso 9 on the same machine. So I'm going to talk about uh, three methods of doing that. Um, and depending on how you use your, your dev machine, uh, you might want to do one or the other. Uh, the virtual host method in particular, though, is uh, closer to the method that you use on a production server. Yeah, but then I'll also talk about how to restrict the Lasso 9 files to a particular directory and how to restrict it to a particular extension. So I'm assuming here that you've installed both Lasso 8.5 and Lasso 9. Uh, 8.5, and this is using, again, the, the default Apache 2 installation on, on Mac OS 10, but 8.5 will install uh, its lasso8.conf file. Lasso 9 will install its Lasso 9 Apache 2 comp file. And the problem, of course, is that both of those are attempting to grab the .lasso uh, file extension uh, for all virtual sites. They, they both install them at the root of the configuration file. <clears throat> so, so we need to restrict. Um, I'm taking the option of restricting Lasso 9 to a particular, to a smaller subset of the server. So, uh, one nice thing to do is to restrict Lasso 9 to a virtual host. And in this case, I'm going to use a, I don't know, a virtual virtual host that I'm going to call Lasso 9. So this is going to loop back to the, to the same server. So um, you can do this directly in the Lasso 9 Apache2.com file. Um, you can go in and wrap the script alias match lines from the comp file using a virtual host directive. Um, if you're not using virtual host already, you also have to name, turn on name virtual host. And then we're going to name our virtual host simply Lasso 9. Um, and I just have to document root to the full, the full root. Um, then we restart Apache. Um, I always like to do a config test because Apache sometimes doesn't, I mean, it basically doesn't give you any error message if you just restart it. But the config test usually is, is fairly explicit. And then what we need to do is we need to go into um, our etc. slash host file. And this, this should be, I think this would be the same on Linux. But, um, and we're going to add uh, a new local host. Like this, if you look in this file, you're going to see this is exactly how localhost is configured. So you can type HTTP colon slash slash localhost. That maps to 127.0.0.1, which is the, the loopback address of your machine. So we're essentially adding an alias for localhost called Lasso 9. And when that comes back to the server, it's going to see that the, the host is named Lasso 9. It's going to map it. Uh, it's going to run all the files through Lasso 9. So now we can call a, a URL like this, lasso9 test.lasso. That's going to load our lasso9 files. If we call localhost, that's going to load our lasso8 files. And let me just see if I can do this. I don't know how 
topic is the front case. The, um, yeah, so anyway, so I've just, I've done this. So here we have uh, lasso 856 and, and then lasso 9. And they're both running on this machine. So it's pretty simple. <coughs> So, anyway, so that's the virtual host method, and that method is particularly useful if you, um, I mean, a lot of you have clients, and, you, you know, if you want to configure, like, you may have their whole website configured on your local machine already, so you want to run, like, their website maybe through Lasso 9 just to see how it goes. So that, that technique can be used uh, to do that sort of thing. Um, so, but a, another technique, I, I think this one's particularly useful if you just want to try out Lasso 9, just real quick, and um, be able to just bring up test pages and try out syntax. Um, is we're going to restrict Lasso 9 to run in only one directory. So every, every URL in localhost is going to go to Lasso 5 except for um, the directory I call it test. So we're going to, again, we're going to modify the lasso 9 apache 2com file direct, directly. And in this case, we actually change the script alias match. And we simply put, uh, this is the, the line that configures dot lasso 9. And, and it uses a regular expression to find the uh, dot lasso file extension. So we just add a directory to the front of it, slash test slash. So now only dot lasso files in the test folder go to lasso 9. And so you can use uh, an example here. So if we load um, localhost test, test.lasso, that's going to go to lasso 9. The lasso 9 virtual folder is going to go to lasso 9, but all other, um, all other uh, files are going to be lasso 5. And then just finally, this one's also pretty easy. If we uh, if we simply knock out the dot lasso script alias match uh, by changing it to a comment, then um, dot lasso nine files will still go to lasso. So now we can have our all of our dot lasso files go to eight five, and all of our dot lasso nine files go to uh, lasso. So, anyway, so those are three methods. Um, I'll make these slides available. As a PDF, so people can, if you haven't been feverishly taking notes, you can uh, try these. But, but it's really all basic uh, patch configuration stuff. It's like there's nothing nothing mystical about it. So anyone who's, uh, who's good at configuring Apache shouldn't have any problem getting the, getting the two to work together. Um, so I, I, I want to talk briefly about how Lasso 9 multiple sites work. Um, and um, some of this is, uh, we are still in development, and we're still figuring out some of the best practices that we're going to recommend. So uh, some of this may be subject to revision as we, as we test more scenarios and get more feedback. Uh, so uh, Lasso 8.5, as I'm sure you're all familiar, has a multi-site architecture. Um, and the way that works, uh, there's actually, when you first start up Lasso, there's actually two instances of Lasso running. One is one we call the server, the other we call the site. And the server uh, functions as a router. Um, you may create eight sites. You actually have nine instances of Lasso running now. And the server is responsible for taking the incoming request and routing them to one of those eight sites. It's actually going to process the request and send the result back to the web server. And the routing criteria you can set in a server administration. 